What's going on, y'all? Thanks for checking in with Callie. Please like, subscribe if you haven't already. So today we want to talk about the L.A. teams, the Los Angeles Clippers and the Los Angeles Lakers. And the question of the day really is, which team has the opportunity to go further in the playoffs? Now, right now, I know you're probably thinking, you know, their, their records are opposite. The Clippers are two and four. The Lakers are four and two. And easily their records could be different if. You know, you look at one game with the Lakers, if they execute better down the stretch of the game, they would actually win that game. And then you look at some of the Clippers games, if they're able to execute with their superstar on the floor with him not being there, which is Kawhi Leonard, they would probably have a better record or maybe the records would be even tied four to two or maybe the Clippers would have a better record than the Lakers. But when you look at both teams totality wise, now most people are probably going to say the Lakers would have the better chance simply because they got LeBron, AD, and, um, you know, JJ Riddick is definitely not looking like a bad coach so far this year. And, you know, everything looks pretty decent for them right now. And right now, currently, they're a playoff team, and currently the Clippers aren't a playoff team. Now, I want to say this. If we base it on right now, then, of course, the Lakers will win it landslide because the Lakers have a better record. And right now, currently, they are a playoff team. But when we break it down schematically wise, well, if we look at both teams being healthy overall in the long run, by the end of this season, if, if the Clippers get Kawhi Leonard back at a feasible time where he can kind of catch a rhythm and the team can gel with him, I can foresee the Clippers going a lot further. And honestly, now that I say that, we actually might get our Battle of L.A. matchup this year if Kawhi comes back in a timely manner because the Clippers definitely will be a very formidable team if they if and when, when they get Kawhi Leonard back. They definitely will be because if you look at the team the way they're built now, they're built as a defensive guru type team. They're built defensively perimeter wise and they're actually built somewhat defensively in the paint also. And when you look at the Lakers, yeah, they have Anthony Davis. Yeah, they have LeBron James and yeah, they have some pretty decent pieces around them, but they have a lot of circus around them, too. And as soon as, you know, every team in an 82 game season goes through this stretch where they either struggle or go through a little bit of a losing streak or go through a downslide. When the Clippers go through their downslide, the way their team is built, nobody's really going to worry about that too much because a lot of people know why because of Kawhi Leonard. But also when you have a player like Kawhi, when he's playing. His efficiency on the offensive end and his defensive prowess on the defensive end will make everybody else play a lot better defensively because these guys are going to be more in their natural position and not overcompensating for Kawhi because he's out right now. When he comes back, not only everybody gets in their natural position, but now the Clippers have more efficiency on offense. They have a guy who can dish the ball in James Harden and who can go off any night himself. And they have a defensive presence that not a lot of teams have. Now, when we look at the Lakers, the Lakers have a defensive presence, too, because they have LeBron, AD, and some other guys that can really, you know, fill up the, the stat sheet defensive-wise. But the circus around them with the Bronny James Jr. thing and all that, and then J.J. Redick. And then, like I said, when they start going through the lulls of the season where they might hit a losing streak, that's what's really going to tell us about the Lakers a lot. Because they already have a, a drama circus around them anyway, just with LeBron James' son being on there. And a lot of people half and half think the guy sh shouldn't have been drafted or he got drafted because of his dad. And some people in the world, the other side of the world, saying, oh, OK, well, he's drafted. He's in now. It doesn't matter how he got in, which that's ultimately true. At this point, it doesn't matter how he got in the NBA. He's here now. Nothing we can do about that. Nothing can really be subsided about that. I mean, only difference is he's going to be probably going back and forth to the G League to develop his skills a little bit more on a consistent basis, which will enable him to possibly be better in the future, hopefully, you know, for his sake. But at the same time, when I look at both teams, the reason why I would say the Clippers more than likely, if they get Kawhi Leonard back at a feasible time, would be the better team to go further in the playoffs or to have a, be a better season. Or, you know, be the team that can possibly win it all out of out of the out of the L.A. teams only because not only because of Kawhi Leonard, I believe in Kawhi Leonard more of his efficiency and everything like that. But when I look at the Lakers, a lot of you could say this, you could say the Clippers won't go further or be the better team in the long run because of Kawhi's health. You can definitely make that argument. But I can also make the argument, too, that the Lakers might not be the better team in the long run because of LeBron James age, 
because last the last couple years down the, the the down the stretch of the season, LeBron's age was starting to show. And we saw a little little injuries, you know, enter here and there. And, you know, he had to, you know, take time off. And, you know, a couple seasons ago, they lost to the Suns in the first round. They can't they, they, they lost to Denver, I think, twice. So it's like, you know, when you look at the Lakers, how much energy will LeBron James have by the end of the season or late in the season going into the playoffs? That's what you got to think about with the Lakers. You have a 40 plus year old superstar who everybody just thinks he's going to stay healthy and stay you know you know his energy is going to stay up high for the rest of the season you hope that it does but at some point father time has never been defeated never been defeated the only way it's been defeated possibly is if somebody took steroids that might be the only way it's been been defeated because if we're going by natural ability father time is never defeated and at some point lebron james age is going to show and we've seen it in instances out the past few seasons it's just that you know like last year, they played pretty good. Anthony Davis played very well. Anthony Davis stayed healthy for the most part, and that's what kind of carried them through. So with LeBron James being there and missing games here and there, it really didn't make much difference because Anthony Davis is a very dominant big man in the paint. He's a very dominant player. He's a top five, top ten player when he's right. So it's like when both with both of them on the floor – you know, you're not going to miss many times, you know what I'm saying, except uh, with the exception of playing a few teams. And I personally think the Clippers are one of those teams, of course, because that's one of their rival teams. And if they happen to play in a seven game series, which, you know, that would be a nice seven game series. I think we all would like to see that one. Um, that would be that that would be a tough one for the Clippers. That would be a tough one for the Lakers because I mean, it can go either way. Uh, me personally, I would go with the Clippers only because. Like I said, I look at Kawhi Leonard's efficiency. Each superstar on each team's efficiency matters when it comes to especially playoffs and especially when the season, when it gets real. And Kawhi Leonard is the most efficient player between both teams, hands down. Kawhi Leonard is probably one of the most efficient players in the NBA. So it's like when we talk about that high percentage shots, high quality, you know, doing less dumb things, you know, on the offensive end and doing mostly everything right on the defensive end, you got to give it to Kawhi. And the way this team is built, the Clippers with like Derrick Jones Jr. And you got Chris Dunn, you know, you got Nicholas Batum, you still got Terrence Mann. Their defense is going to be a problem for every team they face. And honestly, I don't think the Lakers want to see them in a seven game series, not with that type of defense, because you got to think the Clippers got defensive players that are younger and that are really, really defensive sound. Derrick Jones Jr. is still young. Terrence Mann is still young. You know, Nick Batum is a little bit older, but he's not. he doesn't really have to do much, especially with Kawhi Leonard on the floor. Kawhi Leonard on the floor makes up for all of them, really. So it's like when we talk about defense, if defense wins championships like it's always been noted, well, the Clippers have a better defensive team than the Lakers. Now, the Lakers do have health on their side, which is a huge thing. So that's what makes this, you know, kind of like a seesaw battle a little bit. But in my eyes, I think the Clippers definitely would be the team that would, you know, subside and be the better team long term. If Kawhi Leonard can get his health back intact and this team, we can see what this team really looks like with all their pieces intact. Because I think Ty Lue, he is a better coach to me than J.J. Riddick, which is another uh, factor for you know, between both teams. And I think Ty Lue will definitely get the best out of these players because he's getting the best to me out of these, these these players now on the defensive end. They just don't have enough offense to sustain. If you look at some of the games that the, that the Clippers are playing, even though they're two and four, some of them games they've led by 15, 20 plus points. They just couldn't sustain the lead because they don't have a real, they don't have their superstar to carry and drive it home. But when they do get them back, it's going to be a problem for a lot of teams. So, I mean, you can go either way in this situation, but leave any comments in the comment section. Let me know which team you think would be the better option. If you want to give an explanation, I'm always here for it. I love reading you guys' comments. I do my best to read every single one and try to, you know, give some type of feedback or something. And so just leave any comments in the comment section and, um, you know, we'll talk about it.